How's it going guys? It is me, Craig Mitch, and we are gonna do a video for the top five Spurs pundits. Yes, this is a selection of the cream of the crop, ex-players or managers that are some way affiliated with Spurs. So we put a little list together and we're gonna kick it off with number five. In at number five is Glenn Hoddle, an absolute legend, not only in football, but for us, in particular, I mean, he was a great player. He even managed us for a number of years. And now as a pundit, I just think he, he offers a decent insight. He's got a very good perspective. He can offer it from the perspective of a player or as a manager. He works for BT Sport now, and he's really putting in a shift. In at number four is Harry Redknapp. Now he works as a pundit on BT Sport, and I think he is a huge character. He offers lots of entertainment value, and he was a great manager for Spurs, probably the most successful manager in our recent history. He got us into the Champions League once. We should have been there twice. Unfortunately, Chelsea won it, but that's a whole nother story. I mean, even though he does dodge tax, you know, he has heart problems, he does cause a whole bunch of mischief. As a manager, he's a great pundit, and uh, he kind of made transfer deadline day something special, didn't he? Apart from all the dildos and the wackiness that went on, he made rolling up in the Range Rover, rolling down his window on that day and dropping a special line every now and again famous or infamous depending on how you want to look at it in at number three is Jermaine Genus. Now, he's currently working for BBC, and I have to be honest, he's doing a decent job. He offers a whole new perspective. He hasn't officially come out as a retired player, so he's still technically a player, and he can offer a whole new view on the game. He's very level-headed, always has a sharp haircut, even though Barnaby doesn't think he has one, kind of rich coming from him. But I think he's very, very good. I like Jermaine Genus, and uh, it's just good to see someone different amongst the old farts in the studio. Number two, Danny Murphy, another BBC pundit. And I think he's done a very good job. No one expected it. He's kind of slotted in there. Very intelligent man, no nonsense, tells it how it is. He has a great insight. He has great chemistry with most of the pundits he worked with. And as a Spurs player, he was quite creative, quite classy. Didn't really get a chance, but he's brought that into his punditry game. And that is the most important thing today. Also, I don't think the BBC did a great job of finding someone to replace Alan Hansen on Match of the Day. And I think this guy's come in and dominated and controlled that position. Number one, numero uno on this list has to be Jamie Redknapp. Now, he's a bit of Marmite, you either love him or hate him, but I think he's a very, very good pundit. He's very versatile, he does a league of their own. He's been doing this for 10 years plus. He's a veteran in this game. On top of that, he's good on camera. He knows how to work well. He can be a presenter, he can be a pundit. And I just feel like even as a player, he did a lot. He scored in North London derbies. His dad was the main man for Spurs, so there's a little bloodline going there through Spurs, and I really, really like him as a pundit. Jamie Redknapp, hats off to you. I salute you. Carry on flying the flag and have nothing but good words to say about Spurs forevermore. So that's it, guys. That was my top five Spurs pundits. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with what I said. Let us know on anyone we may have missed out that you think should have made the list. If you've enjoyed the video, drop it a like and keep it casual. You're watching The Football Republic. This is The Big Debate, the show that does what it says on the tip. This week we're talking Newcastle United and I'm delighted to have joining me Squawker Dave, Kristen Hennage, and of course the one, the only, the true Jordy. 